doing a whole bunch of things that are all mulching today. So right now we're going to throw some of this beautiful compost onto our garlic patch that we planted. And we actually got to plant it last week. We had a whole bunch of girls here. It was so much fun. And we weeded this whole patch and made some beautiful mounds. When we planted in here, we planted with about a six inch gap in between bulbs. And we did a stagger pattern. Instead of doing things in a row, you do things just slightly offset with about a six inch gap. And that usually does a really good job for me for the garlic. So we'll see, we actually have three different varieties this year and we're gonna see how it goes. But for now, the main thing is that garlic really likes to eat. So we're gonna put on some really nice rich compost post as a top layer. Hopefully it'll make the weeds a little less prevalent in this area and it'll give them a good snack before winter. So we'll see you soon. Okay, so we have gotten as far as we can with mulching the garlic. So I'm feeling really good about just putting it to bed for the winter. We're gonna move on to our compost station after this and just kind of show you how we do our layers and uh, see what we can get done over there. So we're here at our compost station. You might have seen it being built in a previous episode. If not, you should check it out. It was a lot of fun. And I just wanted to show you how we do our layers. So we start off, we go brown, green, brown, green. So what we start off with is our carbon layer. And I like to really make that extra thick for a couple reasons. One is because it helps to actually sort of trap in all the gases and everything as it's breaking down, which is gonna make you have a way healthier compost. And it also makes it less stinky. Thank you, love. Uh, and then the other thing is to try and keep the weeds from coming in. So we have a Excuse me, ma'am. We have a ton of blackberries here and bindweed and all sorts of stuff. So we like to add a good layer to the bottom just to try and prevent those from popping up through and taking over. From the cardboard stage, we then go to the mulch stage, which is just another extra layer of carbon just to keep that stuff, like I said, keep that stuff below squished out and to lock in the process of everything breaking down in a healthy way. So this is the compost that we started a couple weeks ago. Um, you can see here where this carbon layer that we added is actually already starting to break down, which is really wonderful. We used sawdust actually in this pile in quite a few different layers. We um, had a gentleman that Cody was working with at one of his job sites and he had bags and bags of sawdust that was from all untreated lumber. We got a bunch of bags of it for free and we used that to layer throughout. We also have a source of organic uh, mushroom blocks. So the old bricks that mushrooms were grown in and we use that for carbon stacks as well. So within here you can see brown, green, you can kind of start to see brown and green. And then once you get to here, when you're using your compost every day, it's hard to cap it off with a carbon source because you're always adding to it. But once you get to a point where you're like, okay, I've added as much as I'm going to add to this pile for now, you always want to try and do another layer of carbon on top, which again is gonna lock it in. So it's got the carbon on the bottom, the layers of brown throughout, and then you put that carbon lid on top and it just helps to keep everything going inside and get it nice and warm and toasty. So we're gonna just add a little bit more cardboard in here just to kind of try and cap this off. We might even add some cardboard to the front a little bit just so it kind of, hugs it and keeps it warm and helps it to break down in the way that we want it to. Mm -hmm. 